Good afternoon, everybody. This is Andy Daster. Thank you so much for joining here this afternoon. This, <clears throat> excuse me, is a follow-up from a call that we had back a couple of weeks ago uh, with all the agents that are in our Pivot Select program. So thank you so much for joining here this afternoon. As we talked about um, on the last call, we want to continue to enhance your opportunity. We want to enhance your opportunity with more opportunities for leads, which we'll get into here a little bit later on the call. Um, but we also want to enhance your opportunity in terms of products. So we have asked our friends at Manhattan to join us here this afternoon. I'm going to ask Robin to first kind of get us started with uh, an overview of the portfolio and how Manhattan fits into the opportunity that we have with Pivot. And then um, Earl Baxter from Manhattan Life is on the call, and he's going to be walking us through the Affordable Choice product, which is really the flagship uh, individual uh, fixed benefit plan from Manhattan Life. So that's kind of our agenda. We'll touch on dental a little bit and leads, and then we'll make sure we conclude with questions and next steps. Good afternoon, Robin. Hey, Andy. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, I just have a couple things I want to go over just, kind of as a, um, just as a conclusion or, you know, a, a run on from the last time we talked. I'm having, a, I'm getting really bad feedback. I don't know if anybody else is. Yeah, I think that was Earl, so I just muted him. Try it again. Okay. Can everybody hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. So again, uh, Robin Deppenbrock from Pivot Health. And I just wanted to follow up to our last meeting that we had when we kind of talked about the products that you had available in your portfolio as select producers underneath uh, Andy and North American. And, um, you know, we had talked about um, really about dental products last time. And I wanted to go over how the, there are various different dental products that you could add to any of your products. Um, your product suite through Pivot Health is, is a very nice array of products that I think that you'll be able to find that you'll use in, in every different situation, whether you want to sell short term and short term, maybe it's not the right fit or maybe it's not available in a state where you have a, a lead or you're speaking to someone. You have other choices. We have um, One Share Health. We have Manhattan Life Affordable Choice, which you're hearing about today. We have some you know, some supplemental benefits. And then we talked about the dental envision. And our envision of this training is really to kind of show you um, the ability that you have to cross sell and in different places where you can go and cross sell. So today you're gonna to hear about Manhattan Life, the affordable choice, and then you're gonna see how easy it is to cross sell within that platform, the different products that they have. And just to reiterate why, you know, benefits of selling or cross-selling, it's to boost your sales revenue. The more you sell, the more products you sell, the more revenue you get. Um, it proves your customer relations. You're taking care of them. You're making sure that they are, are covered for, you know, any life situation. You reduce your marketing costs. The more you sell, the less that lead or the less that, um, that person that you went out to get cost you. It builds your brand loyalty. It builds the product brand loyalty that you have. And it also promotes unfamiliar products. So you, you have some very unique products in your portfolio that we'll go over later in some later trainings that I think will be very um, good products for you to be able to sell and cross sell. Maybe your clients never thought they needed those products or that there was a need for those products. And I think you, you'll see you have some very um, unique opportunities with that. And then of course, customer retention. If they're happy, if they feel that you've done a good job and that you've covered them, um, they're gonna refer you to other customers and they're gonna come back to you when they need additional coverages. Again, the products that we're talking about, all the products that we talk about, um, can really fit into any person, any segment, or any, uh, you know, life situation that a client may have. And so we're just, we want to provide you with an arsenal of products so that you can find the best product for your client. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to hand it over to Earl to talk about Manhattan Life, 
and that's all I have. Thanks, Robin. Um, hey, Earl Wall, we get your slides queued up here. I just wanted to uh, reiterate just a couple real quick things for those that are wondering, like, okay, so we have pivot short-term medical plans. We've got Manhattan fixed benefit plans. And while Earl's going to show you some state availability issues that will certainly um, be a factor, but I guess maybe the question many of you might be asking is, well, why do we need both of these products? And why should we be talking about these products when we have inbound calls? Well, a couple things just to keep in mind. When it comes to short-term medical, they work great as transitionary products, maybe as a Cobra replacement, maybe for people in between jobs. But if you're looking for something longer term, short term has its limited, it's by definition has its limitations. The beauty of indemnity plans is once you sell it, you can keep it on the books for however long they want it. So with all that being said, let's spend a little time talking about, let me get my screen shown. So with us here this afternoon is Earl Baxter. Uh, let me unmute you. Oh, looks like you're muted, Earl, with Manhattan Life. And he has been kind enough to join us today, despite the fact that Manhattan Life, based in Houston, just endured the hurricane that blew through town. And Manhattan's offices are limited because of the hurricane. So Earl, appreciate you being on here with us this afternoon, certainly appreciate. Hope all is well with you and your family. Yeah, no, thanks for the introduction, uh, Andy, and happy to be here. Um, yeah, don't hold it against me. I'm not our typical trainers. I'm a marketing guy, so I'm going to do my best to kind of run through these two products at a high level. And, uh, you know, Andy, please feel free to, to chime in if you have any uh, comments. I know you, you've been selling this product successfully for a long time, and you've been a, a great supporter of the product, so uh, appreciate that. And also, Robin, great Great comments on the bundling. Um, you know, I get to kind of see the back end production and what makes uh, reps successful in Manhattan Life. And absolutely learning to bundle those products uh, is an absolute way, a great way to become uh, successful and successful quickly. And, you know, to put more hooks into those uh, policyholders and create a nice, uh, you know, a nice package for them of, of products to protect them. So. Uh, appreciate all that. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to talk about the affordable choice first. Uh, this is our, like I uh, believe Robin said, our flagship product. Um, this comes with four different plan types, uh, starting with the lowest price, which is classic, going all the way up to the Elite Plus. Um, this product, um, again, is our, our flagship product. It's been around for quite a while. And one good thing about this product, and I think Andy can attest, I, I, I don't, I'm not even sure if there has been rate increases on this. As a matter of fact, I think over the years, we've had to increase benefits um, without raising the rates uh, over the last few years. So great plan. We'll kind of get into it a little bit, uh, and then we can get into some questions later on. Yeah, no, just to reiterate, Earl, um, we've been marketing um, Manhattan's Affordable Choice product for at least seven or eight years, had great experience with it. We have not seen rate increases in the entirety of the time we've been selling it. And to your point, if anything, we've seen the same rates and more benefits be added. So yeah, it, it, it's a completely different mindset from most other health plans where you're constantly dealing with the rate increase question. Yep. Great point. Thanks, Andy. Um, moving along, we can get into kind of a state availability. As you can see, we've got, got pretty solid coverage there. Um, you know, obviously, you've got some of your problem child states up in the, the Northeast, but outside of that, we've got pretty good coverage, extensive coverage all over the U.S. So, um, okay, so let's stick on this slide for just a minute. And Robin and or Letty, feel free to jump in here. Certainly, states like California that have never had short-term medical, this is gonna be your no-brainer replacement for any clients that might be in California. But there's other states um, as well that maybe even have short-term, but are extremely challenged. A good example might be Illinois. Got some short-term medical there, but boy, it's tough to sell. Um, some of those upper Midwest states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, all of them are really challenged when it comes to short-term medical or don't have it at all. Um, so as yeah. you can see, with only a handful of states, we got good coverage. Robin? Yeah, I was just going to add, you know, California, excellent. 
Um, Illinois, another really good one um, that you would be able to sell in. And, um, you know, also know too, uh, sometimes a short-term medical, as, you know, Andy has said there, short-term medical is a, a niche product and sometimes it's just not a right fit and someone needs, you know, something that's guaranteed renewable and maybe they're looking for something a little bit different. So a good opportunity, Virginia is another one. Virginia mm -hmm. sh shuts down short-term medical during open enrollment. So it's a good opportunity to still have a product there when you don't have short-term. Totally agree. And, you know, a couple of other real quick things, um, you know, for those that um, are saying, well, why can't I just sell an ACA plan in those states? Well, ACA plans um, may not be subsidy eligible. A lot of our uh, people that buy these plans aren't subsidy eligible. A lot of them don't want HMOs, and ACA plans are mostly HMOs in most states. Both Pivot Short-Term Medical and Manhattan Affordable Choice are both PPO plans. Huge networks, you can use them anywhere you want. Um, so for a lot of reasons, um, you know, that that's really, where these products fit versus selling an ACA. Let's continue. Feel free guys to put any questions in the question box and we'll make sure to hit them all uh, after we get through the training. Appreciate that guys. Moving along to some key points. Uh, there is rate stability, no attained age. So, you know, we're not gonna punish you every year when you get older. It's already hard enough to get older. So we don't wanna punish you by raising your rates. Um, First, uh, hospital admission day one benefit complements the daily room benefit. Uh, the daily room benefit does not reduce uh, your admissions benefits, and there is no deductible, and we have unisex rates. So again, I'm not, not gonna punish you if you're a male or female, the rates are, are unisex there. You know, one of the things I love about that admission benefit is every other health insurance product on the planet <laughs> makes you pay and pay dearly for that first day, usually just via a deductible. And yet, <laughs> affordable choice is exactly the opposite. Not only does it provide you a plan with no deductible, but actually throws extra money in <laughs> for, a, for on the first admission day. That's really a great experience for your client that is gonna get that bill at the end of it and gonna say, wow, my plan not only paid, but it paid more than the daily benefit and didn't even charge me a deductible. Love that. Yeah, it's a great point, Andy. All right, moving along into kind of some of the actual benefits itself. Uh, you know, I won't go through each of these for the uh, different plans, but you've got your inpatient hospital confined it with a building benefit injury reimbursement uh, that I can kind of let Andy talk a little bit about that. Uh, then you get into emergency room, urgent care, doctor's office visits with rollover allowed so you know you can roll some of those non-used doctor's office visits over until the next year and then of course uh ground and air ambulance uh you want to talk about that building benefit a little bit andy yep a couple things i wanted to point out about um this benefit so first of all as you can see pretty significant benefits uh for each inpatient day remember this is on a daily benefit and then the based if, if it's an injury the benefit actually increases over a period of years here's what i like about it first of all it encourages your client to stick on this plan because each year that they hold on to it their benefit actually goes up the second thing is it helps you explain to your client like how is this going to keep up in case costs go up well that's the beauty of it if you keep this up until year five get this you're going to get twelve thousand dollars a day for a hospitalization benefit for an injury. 12 grand a day, I don't know what hospitals charge 12 grand a day, there may be some out there, but man, is that a lot of benefit for your client. You know, that's a great point, it's almost like an inflation inflation rider built in, right? That's yep. great. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the second page here. Continue with inpatient hospital confinement. Uh, again, um, You've got a, I'm sorry, are we repeating the page there? Uh, no, that go, I tell you what, uh, the top half of it is a repeat, but the bottom half is not, and I wanna hit that surgery benefit. Because the surgery benefit is one of the things that makes this product so strong. Because when it comes to the amount paid for inpatient and outpatient surgery, Manhattan uses the Medicare fee schedule. I know you can't put that in writing, but that's what it is. Uses the Medicare fee schedule to provide benefit. 
And as you can see, it's either one times, two times, two and a half times, or three times the Medicare fee schedule. So think about this for a second. A Medicare plan would obviously pay one times the Medicare fee schedule. So right out of the gate, minimum we're paying at least what Medicare pays. By the way, ACA plans in general pay about 90% of the Medicare fee schedule, so less than one time. That's why doctors don't like taking it, because it doesn't even pay what Medicare pays. Now, group plans, they all end up paying like two times and sometimes even three times, which is like what this one does. That's why doctors love group plans, and that's why they'll love this too. When they find out that they're making three times Medicare, they're going to love this plan. Um, it also has great outpatient surgical benefits, and then we won't go through all the details, but I did want to hit uh, the two things at the bottom, Earl. Um, one is, as you can see, unlike most of these plans um, that are out there on the market, um, this one has uh, doctor office visits. Um, with a benefit up to 10 days. The thing I like about it is if you don't use all of the days, they roll over into the next year. So let's just say you only have five office visits. You can actually take the remaining five and roll them into the next year. I really like that benefit. It keeps your client from, because let's face it, that's what happens, right? You have one year where you hardly ever see the doctor and then something happens and you see him a bunch. And the client goes, ah, oh, that's not fair. Well, with this, it preserves um, those days for the next year. The last thing I wanted to mention is this prescription benefit. As you can see, it's 25 bucks uh, as, a, as an indemnity up to 75. But I think this is a benefit that gets overlooked because here are clients walking into the pharmacy paying four bucks for a prescription. And if they just turn in the, um, the receipt, they're going to get reimbursed 75 bucks. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy, but that's what it is. It doesn't even matter how much the actual drug costs. They're going to get a $75 check. Andy, if, I'm not Andy, if I'm not mistaken, that could be zero as well, and they'll pay $75. Absolutely. If you turn in a receipt and you bought a prescription, Manhattan doesn't get the choice. If a receipt gets turned in, they have to provide a benefit, and it's 75 bucks, even if the cost is zero or two or four or whatever, yep. they still get 75 bucks. Or it, it could be 50 or 25, depending on which level plan they pick. We mostly sell the Elite and the Elite Plus. And when you get to the rates here in a second, you're going to see why. You know what? Uh, well, why don't you go ahead and take back over, Earl? Yeah, no, I think we've covered pretty much everything on here. I will call out. I don't think we saw allergy shots and immunizations yet, but they're, they're on there as well at $100 per year. I like that one. I also like that cancer benefit. You know, so many of these plans, cancer is kind of a hole. But as you can see from this product, they actually load up on additional cancer benefit above and beyond what most of these plans pay. So keep that in mind when it comes to cancer. Now, I still recommend, just like uh, Robin and Earl were talking about at the beginning, we should always be stacking cancer plans on these things, but it's good to know there are good, strong, solid cancer benefits built into this. 100%. All right, moving along. So, you know, this is a pretty uh, competitively priced product, but we're always looking for ways to even put more money back into the, the pockets of our insured. So, this particular product does come with a suite of what we call ancillary products. So anything from, you know, imaging services at a discount via green imaging, uh, you know, direct labs. It's got a, a network all over the U.S. where you can get a lab work done at a discount. Um, Care Guide is pretty much, you know, your, your go to to help you with uh, healthcare coordination and uh, finding hospitals and, and things of that nature. Obviously, RxE do is a prescription benefit partner. Uh, and then First Health Network is the big network that's associated with uh, with this product as well. And we've got the telehealth consultants, which, uh, you know, mobile telemedicine is huge now. So we've got that piece in there as well. Um, and, and I do get the back end reporting for all these. These are used quite a bit. Uh, and they do save insurance quite a bit of money. So I would really stress uh, learning what these are, how they work, and then, you know, positioning them with each sale uh, as, you know, a selling point on them all. All right. We can move on to the application questions if you'd like. To the next slide here. Um, 
so again, this is it, it is underwritten. Um, here are some of the eligibility questions. Do all members to be insured reside in the home? Uh, has any applicant been declined for insurance due to health reasons? Are you actively at work now? Or, and have you worked at least 30 hours a week for the last three months? Uh, anybody now pregnant? Uh, are all applicants US citizens? If no, provide the details. Um, that is not a decline. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, but I think as long as you guys have like an EIN tax ID, uh, you're good to go. Yep, just to be uh, use the right terminology, uh, we cannot accept undocumented, but they do not have to be citizens. There you go. Do you have existing health coverage? If yes, we're going to ask for a little bit of information. And is this policy intended to replace any other insurances that are in force? And then moving along, we have some additional health questions. Have you had surgery in the last five years? Uh, are you planning to have surgery or been advised to have surgery? Um, has any person uh, for proposed insurance uh, been seen with the last 12 months by a physician? Uh, any pre medications prescribed within the last 12 months? Uh, any proposed insurer diagnosed or uh, treated for AIDS? Um, and then we've got to the best of your knowledge and belief in the last five years, has any person for proposed insurance now have or had had cancer in any form, uh, including carcinoma in situ? And then we've got uh, one more uh, bank of questions here regarding uh, PSAs. Um, 12 months again, had tests performed where the results were abnormal. Uh, and then we got within the last five years, uh, been diagnosed with uh, any of these uh, uh, issues here. I won't go through all of those, but. Uh, so here's Andy, the easy way. Sorry, I was just going to say, Andy, do you kind of have any general comments on, you know, kind of the underwriting process, the underwriting process with Manhattan Life and this product? I do. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, both our experience and I know Manhattan's as well, our issue rate is north of 90 percent. So the vast majority of people get through and there is some declines, but it's it's small and it's usually the agent says, oh, I didn't even know. They didn't tell me that they had this condition or that condition or this drug was used for that purpose. So pretty reliable underwriting. I will also say that once again, going back to our discussion about when to use this product, look, if you got somebody with a significant chronic condition, you shouldn't be really selling either Pivot Short-Term Medical or Manhattan Affordable Choice. That's where you put them on an ACA plan. That's where the sick people go. So whatever, you got somebody with uh, a kidney disorder or rheumatoid arthritis, this isn't the place to do it. You should be doing that with your ACA plans. So not to worry, you're not gonna really have much problem with it. Um, the vast majority of our business gets issued and the ones that don't are onesies and twosies. But this is the part that I like. Look at these prices. Yeah, these rates. Hey, I'll give you, I'll let you guys look at it for a bit. But like Andy said, I mean, this is really affordable considering you know what you're getting packaged up in a product. So if you just even use an example, let's even go with the most expensive. So if you got a husband, wife, and three kids, and they're age 35, the whole family with the highest level plan for 661.85. Think about what an unsubsidized ACA plan might be in terms of price. Are we talking 1,200? Might be double that. Still only have an HMO and still have huge deductibles that most people can't afford, you can get almost anybody in there. And then take a look at all the way on the far right-hand side, you wanna get price competitive. Take a look at that classic. You can get a 25-year-old single for $77.67 a month. So, Earl, I got a confession. I've been in this business for 30 years. I got a 21-year-old son, by the way. He turned 21 last weekend. I had to buy him his first beer. 21-year-old um, <laughs> son. And I could buy him any health insurance plan I wanted, right? Been around the business. I can sell him whatever I wanted to. And I put him on affordable choice. So why did I put him on affordable choice? Well, first, take a look at the price. You can put a young person on an affordable choice plan for 130 bucks. 170 bucks for the Elite Plus. I put him on the Elite, by the way, 132.06. He's 21. Okay, so why did I do that? Well, at his age, statistically speaking, 
his needs are going to be um, pretty reasonable in terms of his health care. Yeah, he went to the urgent care once. Uh, I'll tell you that experience here in just a second. Um, and uh, he went because his, he had the sniffles at school and mom thought he needed to go see a doctor, the big baby. So he went to the doctor, uh, the urgent care. Uh, I believe the entire visit was uh, about 200 bucks, 220 bucks or something like that. And literally just last week, I got a check from uh, Manhattan to pay the fixed benefit for the, um, um, for the visit. And it ended up covering about two thirds of the bill. But Okay, left me with a third out of pocket, which was less than 100 bucks. But the key thing is, I'm only paying $132 a month. So you could say, well, you know, this other plan, I could go to the urgent care for a $20 copay or a $50 copay. Well, that's fine, but you're pay you're paying three, four hundred dollars a month for that. You're over-insuring 21-year-olds who don't need all that and are spending way more than they should. You can even compete with subsidized ACA plans for younger people. This product works really, really well for people that are looking to have a rate that they can afford. Now, we've got on here um, the younger ages. Let's flip over to the older ages. Even with some of these older ages, you can get really price competitive. I mean, you can put a 63-year-old husband, wife, and three kids for less than a grand a month on the most expensive plan. You're just not going to get anywhere near that on an ACA. It's going to cost you at least double that. That's great. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that you uh, trust us and the product enough to have your, your kid on there. I don't, man, your 21-year-old kid, how does that make you? No, never mind. We'll talk about that later. All right. Yeah, man. That, that, well, hey, it, you know, it's, <laughs> it's either 21-year-old kid or you got to change diapers like you do. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We're on other okay. ends of the spectrum, no question. But, uh, but All right, now I appreciate uh, that. It's a pleasure uh, meeting it's... your wife and child uh, in Hawaii last year, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, that was a great time. It was fun. All right, so that how do y'all want to – that wraps up the affordable choice. Do y'all want to – were there any questions in the window we need to address now, or do you guys want to move on to the Dental Vision and Hearing Select? Let's continue. We will take questions. The only question I've gotten so far was, um, can we send out these slides? And yes, the answer is yes. I will get these slides sent out to everybody. Yeah, and I'll add to that. Um, I'll, I'll make sure Andy has them as well once we're done, but I'll make sure you guys uh, have a nice uh, list of like all the video, where you can find the videos, the training videos, and right. you know, just other general marketing materials for these products as well. Perfect. All right, uh, getting into Dental Vision Hearing Select, uh, just a little bit of background on this. This product, gosh, it's been out two, between two and three years now. We, we have our, our original DVH product that's still out in the market, and what we heard back then was, you know, we really wish the product could kind of be sold individually, like, you know, dental or dental vision or dental vision and hearing or just dental and hearing. So what we did was we, we created a product that we can do just that with. Um, you can kind of, you know, uh, build a custom product as long as you have the base of the dental on there. Uh, so some of the highlights, ages 18 to 99. Uh, there's four max benefit options ranging from 1,000, 1,500, 3,000, or 5,000. Uh, wow, that's a lot of benefit. Yeah, yeah, and the 5,000 is relatively new. Um, I think our first state we started rolling out that on was about a year ago or so, and I think we pretty much mm -hmm. got coverage in all the states now. Uh, zero or $100 deductible options uh, in or out of network. Uh, there's no waiting periods uh, for, the, for the dental portion anyway. Um, highly customizable, as we stated, and guaranteed issued and renewable for life. Um, moving on, we can take a look at where this one is available at. Again, you're going to see pretty good coverage there uh, across the U.S. Um, so, yeah, it should be, should be covered where you need it. And we can kind of get into the benefits uh, here a little bit. You're kind of breaking it down into three areas for dental coverage. You've got your preventative, your basic, and your major services. Um, this does include orthodontia, and it is for all ages. Uh, I do believe that there's a 12-month waiting period on that. Um, and then if you look at hearing real quick, there's also a 12-month waiting period on the hearing aid supplies. Um, but typical vision rider, you know, you can get your eye exam, single or trifocal lenses, bifocal, progressive, uh, several different types there. Your frames, 
Um, and you can kind of see your in-network, which is the Carrington network on this dental dental plan versus the out of network, how it's how it's built and how benefits are established. Um, so yeah, great, great plan. Um, again, been in the this one's been in the market for about two and a half years and uh, is, is sold really well and people seem to be really happy with it. Yeah, this is really I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this is the number one selling individual dental product for us as North American and, and one of the top ones in the industry. It has such a strong combination of benefits and price and customizability for your customers. It really is the gold standard of dental products that we sell. We touched upon this a little bit last week or a couple of weeks ago, or also we'll just kind of high level hit this. Um, but uh, we did a deep dive um, just a couple weeks ago. Okay, great. Yeah, on here you'll find the rates uh, for the thousand and fifteen hundred. Uh, you know, very competitive rate-wise, and then again, you'll see the rates moving on to the three thousand and the five thousand on the next slide. So let's just real quickly hit that five thousand dollar max benefit because it, it, this, to me, is grand. We don't sell tons and tons of the five thousand. That's a lot of benefit that a lot of people probably can't use. But even if you just look at, again, husband, wife, and three kids at, you know, 45 years old, you can get zero deductible, $5,000 benefit for 177 bucks a month. I mean, that is a ton of benefit for a lot of people at a really affordable rate. Yeah. And they really love that orthodontia, too, with the kids. And the orthodontia <laughs> built in, right? And you're not going to find that in very many dental plans. Most of them exclude it. Yeah. Now there, I will say there is a lifetime max on the orthodontia of fifteen hundred, uh, but but you know again it is it is something there to kind of get you started. Yep. Uh, next, these are just a couple of resources. Uh, the one on your left is going to be our training showcase. You'll find all of our products in there uh, that we've recorded training sessions on, and then the one on your right is uh, just kind of short one minute, one and a half minute, uh, quick product overview videos that you guys can, can use, pass around, share with your clients, um, but they're available for you as well. And then we also have, they are not here today because they're all waiting and trying to get their electricity back on, but we have what are called the ACEs, our agent counselors and enrollment specialists that are here Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 5 o'clock Central Standard Time and Friday, 8 to 2. These guys or gals, I should say, are, are uh, very uh, knowledgeable about the products. They know when we're going to be having trainings. They're, they got marketing materials at their hands. So you guys get stuck on anything, have a question, feel free to reach out to these guys and, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Outstanding. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Earl. Let's um, bear with me one second. Okay. So um, we'll continue to take some questions, but I want to continue to in the agenda to make sure that we're staying on track. We're now 36 minutes into this. I want to make sure we finish with plenty of time left. So um, Robin started us off by going through the pivot select opportunity. Um, Greatly appreciate Earl jumping on here and sharing with us affordable choice and dental. Hopefully you guys got a good understanding as to where these uh, products fit in the portfolio. Hopefully we've spent enough time talking about that. Um, keep in mind that um, leads will continue to increase as we get closer and closer to the selling season. Just uh, on our last call, we talked about how we're gonna start seeing dental leads coming in as well. We're starting to get onesies and twosies on it. It should pick up as we pick up more momentum over the summer and heading into the fall. Don't forget um, to make sure your reporting is strong. If you're not sure how to report on your leads and dispositioning of your leads, please let us know. Give us a call and we'll walk you through the process. It's really important that you disposition. Otherwise, you won't get more leads because we want to make sure that your conversion rate is good. All right. So uh, with that being said, we're about to answer questions, but I want to make sure that we talk about next steps. So here's what you're to do next. Uh, once again, we really want agents in this program that are producing with leads and without leads. So I'm looking for you all to put together your marketing plan on how do you plan on generating your own prospects for under 65 sales, whether that's pivot and short-term medical or whether that is Manhattan Affordable Choice. 
it really is important in order to get the most out of this program that you're generating sales, not just by converting leads, which by the way, great job, but also by producing business that's not from a lead, from your own marketing. And if you need help or if you don't, you know, you don't have a game plan on how to generate those, let me know and I'd love to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you. If you have not updated your non-resident license states with our team here, please do that. As you guys know, one of the things that we do is when we get an inbound call, we look to see who is licensed in that state before we transfer the call. So if you don't have very many licenses, you're not going to get as many calls as somebody else. And then last but not least on my next step, if you haven't completed your Manhattan Select um, contracting, please make sure to do that today. You're, you want to have access to these products. You don't want to wait. And therefore, you need to be contracted up front. It's, it is literally the simplest, easiest contracting for agents that we have from any carrier. So it's super simple. So make sure to get that taken care of. Okay, that was my list of to-dos. Let's go back and answer a question. Well, I won't keep us longer. Don't have questions. Hey, uh, Earl, thank you so much for joining. I will get these slides out. That was the only question that we did get from Gary was, can we get the slides? I will send it out immediately following this call. I'm really looking forward to um, continuing to provide everyone with more leads and more opportunity. Hopefully, I'll be seeing everybody at the 2024 North American Insurance Services Agent Conference starting next week. Earl, I know I'll see you there. Robin, Letty, I know I'll see you there. Looking forward to being together with you guys uh, starting next week. Looking forward to it. Well. Thanks for having me today. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks so much for joining, guys. Unless Robin, Letty, or Earl, anything in closing? Nope, Not I me. Think just, good. Uh, yeah, no, just you got our numbers. Call us if you got any questions or special needs. We'd be more happy to help you out however we can. Awesome. Everybody, thank you so much for joining. That's the conclusion of this training. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.